Hi, I'm Giselle and I'm going to talk about DVDs and optical disc recording methods. DVD or digital versatile disc. It can be thought of as a good density CDs. DVDs rotate at about three times speed as CDs. DVDs pits are approximately half half the size of the CD pits. And as, as you can see, it can store greater than the CD. And like CDs, they came in recordable and non-recordable varieties. DVD rooms, DVD Rs, and DVD RW. DVDs can be single-sided or double-sided. It is called it is called a 120 millimeter DVDs can accommodate 4.7 gigabyte and 8.54 gigabyte respectively and the 2048 by DVD sector supports the same three data modes as CDs with its greater data density and improved access time one can expect that DVD will eventually replace CDs for a long-term data storage and distribution. Optical disc recording methods. There are various technologies in recording CDs and DVDs, and one of those uses heat-sensitive dye. The dye is being sandwiched between two polycarbonate substrate and reflective coating on, on the CD, and when heat by, by light emitting from the laser and it creates pit in the polycarbonate substrate and the pit affects the optical properties of the reflective layer. Rewritable optical media such as CDRW replaces the dye coating layers of the CD with metallic alloy that includes exotic elements such as indium, tellurium, antimony, and silver. Worm drives or write ones read many. It, it is commonly found on large system because it implies higher powered laser. And the difference between the low and the high powered laser is that low powered laser are subsequently used to read the data. It is used to read the data. The high-powered laser, it permits different and more durable in recording methods. It used, the high-powered laser is used in recording methods. Three of these methods are ablative, bimetallic alloy, and bubble forming. Ablative, a high-powered laser melts a pit of the reflective metal coating. The second one is the bimetallic alloy. Two metallic alloy are encased between protective coating or surface of the disc. Two metallic alloys being fused to make it one. And alloy and worm, bimetallic alloy and worm disc manufacturer claim that this medium will maintain its integrity for 100 years. So it means it is not easily be erased the data inside the disk. And the last one is the bubble forming. A single layer of thermally sensitive material is pressed between two plastic layers and when it when when this sensitive material is heat by a high-powered laser, it creates a bubble, bubble. and that, that's it. <laughs> it's called bubble forming type. But CD-ROM, CDR, and CDRW disc may not be re readable in some CD-ROM. It's because of their incompatibility. CD-ROM drives would be recorded in a single session only.
On the other hand, CDRs and CDRWs are most useful when they can be written incrementally like a floppy disk. The disk CD rooms, the first CD room specification in 1960 assumed single session recording at has no permission for allowing more than 99 sessions on the disk. So, the manufacturers addressed the problem of the incompatibility of the CD rooms and other disks, and they created or the results of their effort is the UDF or Universal Disk Format Specification. And the key to this new format is the idea of replacing the table of contents associated with each session by floating table of contents. This table of contents called Virtual Allocation Table or VAT. And VAT allows for files and folders to be added, change, delete if VAT cannot be found or is corrupt, files will be missing. That's all. Thank you.